just the ground game this week on the Stripe Show, but it's the Open Championship. And I've got two clubs in my hand because, you know, the 60, it's that shot, it's that club that we just kind of default to every time that we miss a green here in the United States. We like to play the ball up in the air. But in Europe, it's not that obvious every time you miss a green. Sometimes you got to go 56, 52, and you got to hit different shots, keeping it down and run it up there. Right? So we've got a shot here. I just missed this green here on nine here at Jacksonville Golf and Country Club. I'm in the rough, and I've kind of short-sided myself. Come up here, Tom. Let's show them this here. Greens are soft here. Right? Everything's a little bit softer. So as I walk up to the slope here, I've got to hit something high, and this green will receive it. Right? I'll hit it here just maybe like 10 feet short. It'll land soft and roll down the hill. Now over there, it's not that obvious. You got to land the ball shorter, right? You've got to be able to hit the ball in the bank. The grass isn't as long around the aprons here. So I could hit it into this bank, kind of deaden it, and then let it run down. So let's go back down here, Tom, and let's hit the shot that I would just naturally default here to. Hey, give me my 60, right? Let's take my 60. Let's open it up a little bit. Let's get the handle down. Let's get the sternum over it. We've talked about this shot. Let's let the left wrist hinge and rotate the face. See how I'm doing that? Face rotates open. Don't get that face like this. And then of course from there, a little bit of turn with the chest coming through. So here we go. Yeah, there it is. Look at that, popped it straight up in the air. Down soft, hit a little too hard. So let's try it again. I'm gonna rotate that face open. You can just see there, just a nice soft rate of turn. Oh! Did you get that, Jaron? Great shot, Trav. All right. I like that shot. We hit that shot a lot here in the United States. Got to get it up in the air, right? The greens are receptive, they're softer. So we can throw it up in the air more here, get it into the green, and the ball will stop. Now, in Europe, not the case. You're going to see a lot more of the ground game. You're going to see more of that low to mid trajectory it's going to hit and they got to really anticipate how that ball is going to shoot forward. Are they going to hit it in there really low and chase it? Are they going to bring it up medium trajectory and try to deaden it a little bit more? All kinds of variables play into that. But it's a fun shot to learn how to hit. So let's get into how to hit that lower shot into the bank. I like this shot. I actually grew up with this shot in northern Idaho, small greens. And perhaps you play smaller greens and you got to learn how to hit it into the bank. So I've got my 56, the club of choice here in 14 strong. I'm going to square the face up. I'm going to play the ball back in the stance, and now my weight's going to be more left. My sternum definitely a little more ahead of the ball. You're going to see this week in Carnoustie, the sternum is going to be more over the ball or maybe just even slightly left of it. You're not going to see this. All right, you're going to see a little more left bend and open to get that club head landing right on top that firm surface. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and wheel around here, Justin. I'm going to land it into the bank. Face square, ball back, weight left. I'm gonna take a little more inside. Look at this club face, gonna go a little more in here. Club face is not gonna rotate as open. Notice in the lob, I hinged it up more, rotated the face. On the lower one, I'm gonna let it kinda come in here a little bit, hinge it, and then I'm gonna let the face kinda rotate down a bit. See, they're almost like a little bit of a, a draw technique. The higher one, the face stayed, club face was looking back like this. This one, Club face is going to turn down a little bit, and I'm going to hit it right into that bank. Here it comes. It's going to deaden it into the bank, deadens it, and then you can see there a lot more roll than that lob shot. That's a shot you're going to see a lot at the Open Championship. Now, I've got two more shots for you. Come on. Okay, scenario number two. This time I'm short of the green, not in the rough. But I'm here in the fairway. Take a look at this, Justin. I got a kind of a tight lie here. They're going to get a lot of tight lies, much tighter than this over at the Open Championship. It's tough to simulate those conditions over here in the United States because the grass is different, the firmness of the ground is different, how much moisture is in the green is different. It's just all very, very different. Now, let's take a walk here on this particular shot, a shot that we're faced with where we've got a lot of green to work with, right? And this green here is pretty soft. 
but I'm going to try to get the ball to land kind of up in here and then let it run out. Okay, so you can see that scenario there back up that hill, plenty of green to work with. Now, our 56 is our club of choice. We can hit a bump and run with the 56, but over here in the States, you might go 52, you might go 48, you might go nine iron right, depending upon how much you want to run it up. All right, so let's go ahead and come on back here. How do we hit that low running shot where we want to take the spin off, that true bump and run technique? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the face square. I like to set the shaft a little bit more upright. Definitely forward, right? You don't have to get crazy, but it's definitely forward. And then kind of stand to the handle. Move your body up here so it points at your belt buckle or just left of your belt buckle. Ball position pretty middle, maybe just slightly back. And then from there, we're gonna take our full swing grip. And you can see how the shaft here, go ahead and check this out here, Justin. You see how the shaft is in line with my lead arm here. My lead wrist is pretty flat, okay? That left wrist is flat, that's a straight line. And then we're gonna drop that back down. Gonna get a little bit of weight left, and you can see here from the target line how upright I am. And then we're just gonna use our shoulders back and through. Pretty stiff wristed shot. Arms are gonna stay pretty passive. Not a lot of play in the wrists on either side. Just gonna turn right, turn left, keeping the left arm attached to the chest. Here we go. Nice and upright, shafts forward in line with the lead arm. Turn right, turn left, low running shot up the hill, just like that. That's a true bump and run. You can hit that with a lot of different clubs. You're gonna definitely see that shot over there at Carnoustie. Now, another shot, right? What if I wanted to kind of bring it up a bit but have a little more spin on it, right? Kind of that cool medium trajectory shot where we get a little more spin and the ball checks. Well, what we're gonna do there is we're gonna take the face, we're gonna open it just slightly, still gonna lean the shaft forward, ball position maybe middle, maybe even slightly forward, and then from there we're gonna give it just a really playful lead wrist. My lead wrist. Kind of letting that left wrist hinge a little, club head gets working up a little, face is definitely a little bit more open, and then from there, as the club falls, I'm gonna let that club head fall right on top of the ball. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the butt of the club here in my pocket, okay? So you'll notice on that longer finish, or the one that was running, everything was pretty straight and in line. This one, I'm gonna let it come out of line. Look, it's gonna swing, and that club head's gonna pass. And then I'm gonna put that club head over here, or that butt of the club, over in my left pocket. Look at the face there, just kind of looking back at me. So it's kind of a playful lead wrist with some face rotation. And then I let it pass as I turn the chest through. That's going to bring the trajectory up a bit with a little bit more spin. Yeah, look at that. That ball checked up. I like that shot. You don't want to gouge the ground on that one. You really want to keep that left shoulder working up and around and try to get max friction on the face. Very, very clean on the face. Not a lot of dig, just that little bruising of the divot and that ball really checks up. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And remember, leave a comment if you have any questions and most importantly, subscribe right here to Travis Fulton Golf so I can help you with your game long term.